Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do the Mario Mushrooms. They're really cute and they're surprisingly easy. So I'm going to be showing you on this finger. And it's super easy. The first thing you need to do is put on your base coat. I'm using the Nail Envy by OPI. Whatever base coat you want to use is fine. Then you need to paint your nail with one to two coats of your favorite red polish. Um, I prefer it to be a true red, that's why I'm using OPI Red. And it's a really rich, vibrant, true red. So we're going to apply one coat and then let it dry and if necessary we'll apply a second coat. Um, for this, I don't believe it needs a second coat because the free edge of your nail isn't going to be showing. So one coat should be plenty. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll okay. be back. So once your red dries, you need to apply some sort of top coat <clears throat> because you don't want your white to mix with the red and it will if you don't apply it clear and then you'll have pink mushrooms and you don't want that plus you don't want to ruin your white so I'm using OPI's white in um, Alpine Snow this one I'm, I'm doing off camera here um, it's a redo and that's what happens when you don't put clear can you see the little bit of pink in the white so I'll have to go over that later so what you want to do I'm going to try to do this so that you can see it you want to get a good drop of white on your brush and you want to start about half a little less than halfway and then just pull it down it's going to make a little curve and then you're going to come out and round it off to the side and follow that curve through to the other side one coat. If you go over it more than once, the what the red's going to start to mix. So what we need to do is we need to let this completely dry and then go over it again to get that nice crisp white. But while we're here, we can make our dots. And I'll show you what I use to make my dots. Straight pins. They have the perfect ball just like a dotting tool. But if you want different size dots, you can use the end of a makeup brush that's rounded, and that'll make a good dot, too. This will make a really big dot, so I'm not going to use that one. So just get a straight pin out, and I'll just use the lid here and put a drop, just a little bit. You don't need a whole bunch of white so that we can do the dots while the rest of the white is drying. Be careful of the point. You can put like um, a piece of eraser on the end so that you don't poke yourself, but if you're careful, you should be okay. Just dip it in, and then you want to make three dots above your white portion, and then two dots above those. So there's your little your little mushroom dots. Cool. Set that off to the side. You can use that for your other nails. And it should be dry enough at this point that we can go ahead and do our second coat of white on the tip of the nail. So just pull it. Okay. Now when this completely dries, I'll come back and show you how to finish it up. Okay, so we're all dry, and uh, <clears throat> now all we need to do is add the eyes. And I'm using a um, black, this is from Milani Nail Art. Um, any black will work. If you don't have a nail art brush, you can use a paint brush that's really thin. You can even use a toothpick. So all you need to do is so easy. It's so cute too. It's so, it's so funny how just that little two black lines turn it from a weird 
looking nail into a Mario mushroom. So you're going to start at the top of the curve and make two straight eyes like that. That's it. And you've got your Mario mushrooms. Then all you need to do is clear coat it. I suggest using Setch Beat. It dries ultra fast, ultra hard, and super glossy and seals everything in. And you've got your little Mario mushrooms. If you have the right color green, which I thought I did, but it's not. It's too dark. Um, you can like make an accent nail be um, the little one-up mushroom, the little green mushroom. That would be cute too. So just experiment and have fun and enjoy the nostalgia that is Mario mushrooms. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day.